I can't afford it shut down your brain. It didn't have to think anymore. Besides, it also brings up sadness. A helplessness that leads to despondency and often depression. How can I afford it? Opened up the brain. Forced it to think and search for answers. It also opens up possibilities, excitement and dreams and created a stronger mind and dynamic spirit. What do you think about me is not my business the important thing is what I think about myself. The size of your success is measured by the strength of your desire, the size of your dream, and how you handle disappointment along the way. Money is just an idea. Intelligence solves problems and produces money. Money without financial intelligence is money soon gone. An intelligent person hires people who are more intelligent than he is. Leadership is what you need to learn next. The poor and the middle class work for money. The rich have money work for them. If fear is too strong, the genius is suppressed. People who avoid failure also avoid success. Rule number one. You must know the difference between an asset and a liability, and buy assets. If you want to be rich, this is all you need to know. It is rule number one. It is the only rule. This may sound absurdly simple, but most people have no idea how profound this rule is. Most people struggle financially because they do not know the difference between an asset and a liability. Rich people acquire assets. The poor and middle class acquire liabilities that they think are assets, said Rich Dad. There is always risk, so learn to manage risk instead of avoiding it. Going into our fear and confronting our greed, our weaknesses, our neediness is the way out. And the way out is through the mind, by choosing our thoughts. Today, wealth is an information. And the person who has the most timely information owns the wealth. It is not much different from a person who goes to the gym to exercise on a regular basis versus someone who sits on the couch watching television. Proper physical exercise increases your chances of health, and proper mental exercise increases your chances for wealth. Laziness decreases both health and wealth. You will never know true freedom until you achieve financial freedom. At the point the money hits your hands, you have the power to determine your financial future. Once again, the 90 tenths rule of money applies minus 10% of the borrowers in the world use debt to get richer minus 90% use debt to get poorer. They get up every day and go work for money, not taking the time to ask the question, is there another way? know a little about a lot. 
Everyone wants to go to heaven, but no one wants to die. We only memorize historical dates and names, not the lesson. Find the game where you can win, and then commit your life to playing it, and play to win. Balanced people go nowhere. They stay in one spot. In today's fast-changing world, it's not so much what you know anymore that counts, because often what you know is old. It is how fast you learn. Leverage can come in many forms. Leverage can be your thoughts, people who win are careful with their thoughts, not saying I can't do that. Or it's too rosky or I can't afford it. Instead they say how can I do that, or how can I reduce my risk, or how can I afford it? Choosing what we think rather than reaction to our emotions.